hi guys so today i was i was gonna make a tiktok and or an instagram reel about this and because i just have so much to say about this topic because it was literally how i did it and then i was just like you know what why don't i make a youtube video on this so i can just chill i can get ready with you guys and just talk with you guys while i get ready today i'm gonna be talking to you guys about how I entered my rich girl era and really started creating my dream life. So first of all, I just think there are so many people in today's day that are actually really realizing that, wow, I am playing small, wow. I actually can do, become, create so much in today's day. And I was literally that person. I'm 24 years old today. And at 21 years old was when I really had that, that moment of realization that, okay, because uh, pretty much I grew up, you know, not in a crazy rich family. I wasn't poor or I wasn't, you know, struggling, struggling. But I just, you know, lived in a very regular household where, you know, it's just kind of, we're just, we're, we're comfortable, you know, we're getting by. And obviously you guys understand that we all come from one way of really knowing how to make money um we're all taught really one thing we all know really only one thing so we all really only do one thing which is what go to school study get the best paying job and just kind of work to get paid and this is kind of just the cycle that you kind of stay in until you are retired if you guys take a look at like around you know through all my years of living, I've just always seen that money is just always, always the elephant in the room. People are just always living paycheck to paycheck. Um, people are always complaining about debt. Money is just the root of all evil, like what we were taught. But you know, the average person, we kind of all grew up the same way in the same cycle. So my point is we're all taught to uh, like, kind of have a, a scarcity mindset towards money. And you know, we're really not taught to dream big, do big, definitely not taught how to achieve our dream life and create wealth and time and freedom we just are all this is why the 99 percent is so much larger than the one percent of people in the world and the one percent of people in the world are the people that have wealth time freedom that number is so small clearly because those are the only people that decide to go against the norm against the way we're conditioned against the the, the traditional mindset and do different which is why they have different we all kind of start in this 99% or mindset. And this is the first thing that I really wanna talk about in terms of how I entered my rich girl era, how I started going after and creating my dream life. First thing I had to do was the mindset shift. And I just think a lot of people, when they hear, oh, mindset or mindset shift, right away they just, like they don't even think too much about it because they just think it's so minor. They jump right away to the tactical things, the tangible things. Okay, what are the exact action items I need to start doing to have this, to create this, to become this? And it's like they got it wrong. First thing you have to do is that mindset shift. So like I said, us coming from that 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 scarcity money mindset um, and, you know, we just think so neg negatively about, um, about money and, you know, we think it's so hard to achieve. We think there's a lack of it and especially in today's day you guys if you take a look around you know i swear making more money today is not is not even a luxury if anything it's a necessity at this point with inflation and and cost of living going up and for like we've entered into a recession guys i like so for example me i'm very um, into like fitness and health so i've been eating the exact same things my entire like these past i saw two years i bought the exact same groceries every single week every single sunday i do my grocery trip buying the exact same things over and over again but although i'm buying the exact same things my bill just keeps getting higher and higher and higher and higher and my point is cost of living is going up so it's honestly a, a necessity at this point to start really fixating your mindset on understanding okay in today's day i just really need to you know start making more money okay, so i was 21 years old and i graduated college and i get ready with me are hard when you try to talk so after i graduated college i got a job right into my career right away i was really grateful for it. and it was just after one year of working that i already realized i'm like okay i'm already understanding this this cycle that i literally hear everybody always talk about i'm just going to work getting paid going to work to get by to make ends meet already stressing about money and realizing that realistically this is not really going to change my entire life i'm going to always have to work for money and not even um, a lot of money just i'm always gonna have to work to just get by um and you know wait for those yearly raises you know just the, the regular cycle and not only just did that just not sit with me because i've always had bigger dreams i've always had bigger goals i've always wanted 
a much bigger lifestyle than that i knew that there was so much more out there by the way i'm not just talking all materialistic things like like actual designer and luxury and, and trips there was one thing that I truly wanted in my life which was control and and freedom and really just my time like having control of my time having my time back because I very shortly realized and this is obviously the norm that so many people under uh, just just accept is that you are literally gonna be trading your time for money your entire life and you're gonna be waiting for those weekends those Saturdays and Sundays to do something you're gonna be waiting for those couple time a year vacations and i just didn't want that i wanted to have my life my time in my complete control people say which is a very debatable topic that money doesn't buy happiness you're telling me money doesn't buy happiness listen i will be the first to say money does buy happiness money buys happiness in the sense of what i just talked about because money bought me my time back at 24 years old to know that i do not work a nine to five job i do not work for anyone i do not work anywhere i literally work for myself i have the ability to make my own money on my own time for the past three years i have not worked a nine to five job and i never have to work a nine to five job ever again there was actually a study done on happiness by the way and it said that the biggest indicator of happiness was someone being in control of their time meaning doing what they want when they want with who they want so ultimately freedom will have in control of their time so my point is i understood from a very young age at 21 years old i started studying what these one percenters were doing what did the people that had wealth time freedom in the world what were the things that they were doing um and i understood that they were not making money in just nine to five ways by the way if you have not read the book cash flow quad quadrant cash flow quadrant by robert kiyosaki i 100 recommend you do that first because that changed my entire perspective on the ways that i really can be making money in today's day to grab my vaseline um and there's actually four major ways that you can make money in today's day which is employee uh self-employed investor and business owner I really start to look into what they were doing i understood okay these wealthy people they these one percenters they 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 invest they have passive income they have online businesses they're just doing much more for themselves and creating things for themselves all of this came down to understanding that if i want to start moving towards that quadrant i need to make that mindset shift and i need to go from having a scarcity mindset to an abundance mindset and understanding that there is so much money to be made in today's day i can become so much i can create so much and unless you start here i always say success starts in the mind your thoughts dictate the choices that you see meaning if you believe that money is very hard to make and there's a lack of money and that you know the ways of making money are very limited and you're that's going to project the choices that you see which is okay realistically there's probably only one way of making money which is an entire job but if your thoughts are that there's an abundance of money there's so much money to be made money comes to me easily your thought then those thoughts are going to dictate much wider range choices that you see there is more money to be made okay maybe i should be more open to opportunities okay maybe i should you know make multiple forms of income your your choice that you you see are going to be much larger and obviously so your thoughts are going to dictate those choices that you see and based off those very limited choices because of your negative thoughts or those that wide range of choices because of your your abundant mind your abundant thoughts then you're going to take action on those choices and obviously those actions are going to produce the experiences that you have so i promise you guys when I was 21 years old, I literally had the most negative mindset. Um, and I literally would say the exact same things that you maybe say to yourself right now. Like, that is not possible. That's too good to be true. It's not realistic. And the minute I switched my mindset, everything started to change. So following mindset. And I guess the next things that I'm kind of going to talk about are kind of all as well. If you start doing these things are going to actually impact your mindset a lot because i know they impacted mine a lot so the next one being your surroundings and the people that you surround yourself with they always say that you know you are an average of the 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 five that you really spend the most time with and this is absolutely so true um and also just when you're surrounding yourself like just understand this let's say you're surrounding yourself with you know a group of people that are very negative that are broke that are always complaining about life but never do anything about it, that are lazy. Do you think you're gonna be motivated and inspired to go after any 
create more to have more and become more absolutely not i never really surrounded myself with people before that were like really trying to get into entrepreneurship and investing it never even crossed my mind to kind of get into that um and this is why as well my thoughts remain very small-minded because i just wasn't exposed to any bigger-minded people and then i found you know the right community the right mentors the might the right circle i was just so in not only did it instill belief into me and i really saw for myself this is possible i can do this i can have this but it motivated me it inspired me like imagine every single day waking up and your immediate circle are people that are becoming millionaires every day billionaires every day having you know million dollar investment portfolios creating things for themselves traveling the world having all this time and all this freedom you are gonna be so excited to literally wake up every day and just achieve more for yourself create more for yourself when you're around money talks when you're around you know investment talks when you're around lifestyle talk so the minute I started to surround myself with people like this, it had such an impact on who I was, my success. So that is something I encourage you guys to do. Change up your circle. If your circle is not benefiting you, if your circle is not motivating you, inspiring you to do more, to create more, to have more, but also helping you. When I say helping you, it's like, I have so many rich friends now. I have so many millionaire, billionaire friends now that they're just always, you know, giving me tips, giving me advice. If you don't have these types of people in your life, go out there and start making them. And by the way, you might you might be thinking right now, like, well, I don't have anybody that I know that has these things, that is doing these, that that are doing these things. That is totally okay because I knew not a single person either. But I found them online. Even there are so many online mentors, online friends that you could really be making in today's day. So grateful for social media. I met all my mentors that I have today. All my business and entrepreneur and investing friends. Every one of them came from the online space. Kind of following this, which is like that. I just kind of talked about the law of association. Following that is the law of exposure. Um, and this is something that so many people don't understand the power of. When you expose your mind to what is really out there, what you can really do, what is possible, your mind cannot unsee what it sees. This is why they say, go test drive your dream car because you need to you need to be exposed to that feeling the way you feel when you sit the way you feel when you drive the way you feel when people are looking at you into it go walk into your dream house or go condo shopping not necessarily that you're going to buy it right away but go into those condos that are your absolute dream condos because the minute your mind walks into that condo the minute you see yourself standing in that bedroom looking out that window with all those city views and the water and you feel yourself in that bedroom Room, you are exposed to what it feels like to be living in that condo standing in that condo so for example even myself i mean i i expose i i make it a habit to try to expose myself every day to something new same thing like when i started making money online in the ways that i do the minute i made you know my first weekly check that was accumulated to you know what i did in a month at my job actually let's look even something uh, at something even smaller the minute I made my first $100 online in one day you know it's obviously nothing big at all but the minute I made my first $100 online in a day right away I was exposed to the ways that I really can be making money in money in today's day and how that same $100 would have taken me like seven hours six hours five hours don't know the exact math to do trading my time at a job for so right in that moment i was exposed to this is really how things can be i cannot unsee this now this is why my goals were to stray away from the nine to five because i understood how easy it was and how possible and especially in today's day how accessible the online space makes it for us to be making full-time livings onto it in our own time in our own ways so right when i started doing that for myself was when i was like right away i cannot go back to my job and sit there for five six hours of my life mind you a job i did not like that was not fulfilling and made that same amount of money that i literally just made in a couple of hours or 
some time, little bit of time into my phone um, in one day. I just, I just couldn't. So I need you guys to go out there and expose yourself more. And obviously, if you're doing the above step that I said, where you are really changing your circle, um, this will make it even easier for you because odds are these people are going to give you access to opportunities and places to go with them but if you don't have that yet just look, like i said go expose yourself to bigger things next thing to think about is what you consume if you're only consuming toxic stuff on social media you know watching the the negative tiktoks or the negative youtube videos people talking about this people roasting this for your entertain if that's your source of entertainment you are not feeding your mind you are not feeding your brain with anything positive anything that's going to inspire you or motivate you so that's why for me i started you know listening to the podcasts of successful people i started reading the books i was con i was filling my mind with the things that were actually going to serve me that were actually gonna you know fill up my cup not take away from my cup by the way my skin has been so bad you can probably see it by the way because i obviously have no filter or anything on it's been so dry so patchy okay so following what you consume um is personal development and really starting to develop yourself listen this is the beautiful thing you know you do not gotta be making a lot of money you don't gotta be very wealthy and like everything that i'm saying to have you know you don't gotta have it all before you start doing this step start with your as well personal development because the minute you start growing yourself growing your skill sets um you are going to become a better person you are going to become more skilled you're going to become more knowledge you're going to grow your abilities and when you become more is when you can have more when you can create more so of course you know you can start with even you know books that are like i kind of said mindset based to really start changing your mindset changing the way you think changing the way you see things start doing personal development in the sense that like so for me i knew like i told you guys that when i started studying what successful people were doing and having um i understood it was a lot about you know online businesses and uh you know investing Ooh. And investing and so for me I started looking at ways I can start learning about these things obviously you got to start somewhere so I was in search for those right resources I was in in search for those right tools um, and things that were really gonna teach me there teach me these things the efficient ways and if you don't like you know reading books and you know find just ways to get personal development and maybe when you're in the shower maybe when you're driving to work listen to that 20 minute podcast on ways to change your thinking for success I looked into you know successful people have a good morning routine um, maybe I'll make a video for you guys on a successful morning routine like a millionaire morning routine like it will trust me your morning routine sets you up for success and every single successful person has the strongest morning routine so even that when i understood that i was reading books and i was reading podcasts and trying to fill in my knowledge on how i can have a good morning routine there's one thing that you can never go wrong with in life and that is investing into yourself like when you're pouring into your cup when you're feeding your mind when you're feeding your knowledge like you that's the one investment that will never go to waste and the minute you stop learning the minute you stop growing your income dies your business dies your growth dies your potential dies all these things that a lot of these things i'm talking to you guys about right now are the things that you can do from zero right now the things you got to start incorporating the next thing is the good old manifestation i never look at all this makeup i never never believed in this before i'm like can y'all just be quiet? Like, what do y'all mean manifestation? I'm going to just say I'm a billionaire and wake up being a billionaire. Like, be quiet. <laughs> but I didn't understand the power of it. The more you are grateful for every single day, the more you will eventually start to have. That's why practicing gratitude is so, so, so important. And, you know, an exercise I encourage you guys to do is to start writing down every single morning, you know, a couple things that you're grateful for. I have a routine that I've been doing for the past three years. Um, so pretty much every single morning when I wake up, I write down a list of things that I'm grateful for right now. So in small things as well, I'm grateful for my health. I'm grateful for waking up today. I'm grateful for my morning coffee that I'm drinking right now. I'm grateful for the fact that I'm living in my dream condo at 24 years old. So just writing down things that you're grateful for right now. And again, just 
they don't gotta be big things and after that i and this is the visualization part and this is the big part for the success as well write it things that as if they're already true as if they've already come to life so i do it in the sense that i write it exactly like that i'm so happy and grateful now that i blank and i will literally write the things that are not yet true have not yet happened but i want them to be and i know that they will be eventually so for example it can be you know so many different things it can be about let's say a dream car you have i am so happy and grateful now that i am driving this mclaren this lamborghini this make this model this color like to detail by and you say the date by march 30th 1998 <laughs> i literally just said my birthday by march 30th 2023 it can be you know i'm so happy for now that i moved into my dream condo that is in this location looking over the water explain it a little bit by this date it can be even like goals that you have one of my business goals is to create 10 uh self-made six-figure earners i'm so happy and grateful now that i created 10 brand new self-made six-figure earners by december 30th 2023 and the more and this is how this works the more you visualize these things the more you tell yourself these things the more they are just going to become normalized into your brain to the point where a lot of the things that I'm writing down today that have not yet come true, they already feel like they're true because I just believe in them so much because I tell myself them all the time. And the word believe is the word lie. And this is why you do need to lie to yourself tell yourself these lies these positive lies these good lies you know when i'm saying i'm a multi-millionaire I, i'm a multi-millionaire by this date i have a million dollar crypto portfolio by december 30th 2023 i'm i'm feeding myself these lies these good lies and what it's doing is it's making me believe that these lies are actually true so you gotta lie to yourself so you can believe these things when you believe these things you're gonna achieve these things now manifestation you gotta be putting in the work with it as well don't think you're gonna just pull out your manifestation journal and because you write them down for five months of the year they're gonna become true by the end of the year absolutely not your hustle has to match the goals that you're writing down but when you are putting in the work and you're also knowing exactly what like you're picturing exactly what you want exactly what you will eventually have then it will all come to life I literally cannot make this up. I really wish, but when I moved, I left it at my dad's house. Um, I made a vision board two years ago and it had pictures. And by the way, it's important that you are you're looking at these things every single day. So for example, my vision board was always above my desk where I was working literally every single day, every single hour. So I would always just look up and see everything, look up and see everything. So I was always reminded by these things. I was always feeding my mind with these things. Or you can write notes to yourself. So I know um, a lot of people love to, uh, where, where you do certain routines. So you brush your teeth in the bathroom. You're in the bathroom a few times a day so having the notes you know i am a money magnet i am a multi-millionaire i make this much money i have this in my life if you have these sticky notes around say your bathroom then or on your phone background just places where you're always looking you're always going to be reminded you're always going to be telling yourself these things and this is the thing so many people on the new year they make these new year's goals these new new year's resolutions and they only remind themselves of these new year goals once which is New Year's. Successful people remind themselves of their goals every single day, 365 days of the year, multiple times a day. Three years ago, of course, when you go from switching from an employee to start, you know, becoming an entrepreneur and trying to create something for yourself, it's obviously very difficult. And, you know, so anyways, I struggled a lot my first year in business, of course, and I had these I had these goals that I just never knew how they were going to come to life because again everything seemed so far-fetched for me when I started because I started just being a broke lost unfulfilled party girl and then I all of a sudden had all these big dreams and goals for myself but anyways I made a vision board of you know the exact condo exactly the way I wanted it to look um the income that I wanted um the trips that I wanted to go on I even put you know things like a nose job which, but um, 
because it was just always something I wanted to do. I just never had the money for it. Um, like I put everything, the lifestyle that I want to have, the like all of it, it was all onto this vision board. And it was just in my, on top of my uh, desk in my room. And even my dad and my sister would like walk in my room. It's so funny. They would walk in my room and they just, <laughs> they would just like look at me. Like, by the way, I come from a very old school European household. So like even my dad, when I started mentioning like, I'm gonna go against the norm and do this and have this and I'm gonna be the I'm gonna be the person that changes the family ways. I'm gonna be the first millionaire in our family, like all these things. My dad was just like what did I do wrong? Like what did I do wrong? So anyways, my sister and my dad would like come into my room and just see this board of like I'm a six figure earner next year. I live in my dream condo. My dad's like, where are you going? <laughs> like they would actually kind of laugh at the board because it just, it, a lot of the things seemed very far fetched. Um, my point is I wish I had that board because everything on that board today is true and it has come to life. Um, and I even put some things that, man, they just seemed like so unrealistic. Like for me at the time, like I was like, I want to literally have the freedom to just every other month, every two months, just travel, just go to another country and work from another country, be able to work from another country because I make money however I want on my phone for myself because I have my online business and because I do this online and because I do all the above. Like I envision my lifestyle and when I would be working at my desk, every single day miserable broke unhappy just working 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 i just kept looking up at that board because that fed me that fueled me to keep hustling to keep working you know we are at a prime time in our lives you guys today we have access to so many incredible opportunities this is my message if you're listening to this if you don't like where you are right now if you hate your situation, if you want more out of life, if you want the wealth, if you want the time, if you want the money, if you want the freedom, find that passion. Do the dreams and the goals that you have, you absolutely can because look around, there are so many people in today's day doing that. There are so many people that are literally living the life that you dream. The only difference is they started. And in order to start, you gotta get uncomfortable. You got to change the mindset. You got to take the risks. You got to go against the norms. And doing all of these things that I just shared with you guys today into this video, I promise you, they're going to move you into that direction. But anyways, I just, I want to not impress any one of you guys, but I just want to impress upon you um, that, you know, there is such another life that you can be living. And I was told this when I first kind of started my whole journey with entrepreneurship and you know everything that I do today if when you die um this is clearly kind of deep if when you die God show or whatever you believe in you know shows you that you know this is what you could have done this is what you could have became this is how you could have lived this is what you could have achieved this is just showed you it all but instead, you literally stayed in this exact same spot, in this exact same cycle, feeling the exact same ways when you could have had all of this. How would you feel? For me, the fear of, you know, taking that risk, the fear of getting uncomfortable, the fear of going against the odds, the fear of, you know, going after things that I'm just so not used to, the fear of staying exactly where i am the fear of my life remaining in this same repetitive cycle of going to work every single day and being miserable every single day and not being happy and having no possibilities of of achieving my dreams my, my my lifestyle goals traveling having that freedom like the fear of staying exactly where i was was way bigger than the fear of going to take that risk that is pretty much this video guys um I really hope you guys took a note or two down and you actually apply a thing or two. So I went off camera really quickly to straighten my hair, but that wraps up this video. And I really enjoy doing this. This was really fun for me. I always do reels and TikToks and they're just very short forms of content. So to actually get the chance to just really talk and really pour into you guys and share with you guys stuff that's on my mind, I really love it. So expect more of these sorts of videos because this is really what I do for a living. I, I coach people and I help people and I, I share and I pour in. So this is, I expect a lot more of this kind of 
my content but also expect more of you know just a day in the lives and i want to do more vlogs and travel vlogs just really making this channel you know all about me being a 24 year old successful online entrepreneur not only giving you guys stuff that will help you learn and grow and giving you guys value and knowledge but also just showing you guys you know a lot of behind the scenes of you know my life and what i do and who i am as well because i know a lot of you guys probably are going to be coming eventually from tiktok and instagram where you guys know me of course my my, my og followers you guys know me but youtube is obviously a place where you guys are going to get to know me on more personal levels definitely follow me onto instagram and tiktok because i'm onto there 24 7 every single day especially instagram i'm on my stories every hour of the day you always see the behind the scenes and then the, the, all the stuff there and i also interact with you guys onto instagram so always feel free to message me send me your message we can talk on there anyways that is all so i will see you guys into my next youtube video